Hey horse lovers, welcome to Auction Pony Boot Camp. All right, horse lovers, welcome to day one of Auction Pony Boot Camp. So first up, we have Olaf here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just walking him around the indoor arena. We're going to be working on the front half of it today. This is his first time in the, in here, and I just want him to get familiar with it. So that's how we're going to start is just leading him around, letting him look, halting, and just kind of hanging out for a second. So I hand walked him for about 10 minutes. Now we're going to work on some backing. He's doing really good there. He's pretty responsive. Okay, now that he's warmed up and we did a lot of walking, I'm gonna send him out on the lunge line. He's definitely a little bit quick and he's very distracted right now, which again is normal. He's looking around, it's a new environment. So right now I just want to get his feet moving, kind of work out some of that tension and then we can go from there. Also, he's super dirty. So actually, because there's a lot of energy in the air today, it's rainy, it's kind of cold. And I wanna do the grooming after we do our groundwork. I'm gonna do that with all three ponies today. That way they can kind of just get their feet moving, going, get familiar with the environment. And then we can focus on grooming. So it's actually a relaxing experience. So if you can look and see, he was kind of like peeking out over outside. He can see the other horses, but he's also like looking over the gates, very distracted. So I'm gonna work with him for a little while and kind of get his focus, do some directional changes, walk, trot, transitions, and all that kind of stuff. He is responding though, and he's being a good boy. So that's really great. He's starting to get a little bit more focused, still a little distracted, but I'm gonna go ahead and ask him to canter and kind of get some of that energy out. And again, when I lunge my horses, it's not to like run them and like, you know, really run them hard. It's just to get them to focus and move their feet. That's my goal. Olaf does respond really well when I ask him to stop and come to me. So I really, really like that. Okay, he's starting to calm down and come into focus and slow down a little bit. Again, it's his first time in the indoor arena and everything is still new with his environment. And there's a lot of distractions, but I'm really happy that we're working through things. Okay, I'm gonna ask him to halt and back up a couple steps. I think backing is very important for the horse, not only physically, but mentally as well. So it's something that I do periodically through my sessions. And now we're gonna canter this direction. So he's definitely a little unbalanced and is kind of in pony race mode, but I'm just staying calm and not trying to create a lot of tension on the line, let him work through it, and we'll come back into balance. I think he's gonna have a very nice, quiet, balanced canter once he gains the strength and he's more focused and calm. Really looking forward to when I do ride him for the first time and feeling what his canter is like. So another thing I do when I'm trying to help a horse slow down or be balanced is I kind of call out a cadence. So right now I'm going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, canter. And if we're trotting, I go one, two, one, two, trot, trot, trot. And that really does seem to help. It's a mental thing and a rhythm thing. So I really like doing that. And it's something that I find to be very helpful tool for the horse. Okay, now that we're a little more warmed up, I'm gonna ask him to trot in a smaller circle to kind of get a little bend and get him a little more flexible and kind of work him there for a minute. He's definitely slowing down and becoming more focused now. Really, really good sign there. Right now I am gonna do a hyoid release with him and kind of really help him work through some of that tension. I like to work that into every session. After the hyoid release, I'm setting him back out on the line. Definitely a change. If you can see, he's definitely moving more balanced, slower. Really proud of him that we could accomplish this in a short amount of time in our session. And that's all that matters. It's just a little bit of progress each time. I'm just gonna ask him to walk on the line calmly. Just relax. Okay, I wanna put him back into a trot and see how he's responding. 
It's doing really well and transitioned down really nicely. He's gonna be a really fun little POA. I'm excited for what the future holds. Okay, I'm gonna end our session with some pets and praises. I'm gonna ask him to back up a couple steps. And then we're gonna go into our grooming session, which should be fun since he's disastrous. He's such a pretty pony. I really like how he's built. And it's hard to tell, but he's white, but he does have some of the black spots. There, you can see better now. I just think that's so fun. And I kind of wonder because he's younger, between five and seven, if he's gonna get more spots over time because Appaloosa's change, Appaloosa's POAs. So I'm really interested to see what he ends up looking like. Olaf absolutely adores attention and I'm really enjoying this grooming session. I feel like he's really relaxed and I'm really happy that I did the groundwork in the session before grooming so that this could just be a bonding, fun experience. And there's Olaf. Okay, next up we have Miss Cruella DeVille. Okay, so same thing with her. I'm just gonna walk her around the arena to get her accustomed to it. It is her first time in here as well. She overall just seems super calm and chill. Honestly, I trust her the most out of any of the three so far, just because I think she's had a little more experience. So she can be a little pushy when walking, not, nothing bad, but just not quite up to my standards. So. What I'm doing here and what I did at the beginning is walking, stopping, and if she gets a little close, kind of backing her up a couple steps and just kind of repeating that process. Just to let her know, hey, I don't want you right in my space when I stop, don't walk in front of me. And just kind of setting those um, standards. Okay, she's warmed up, so now I'm gonna ask her to trot off. She's moving really nicely, nice and balanced and slow. Again, she's slightly distracted, but not too bad. She's definitely responsive and just overall being a super good girl, especially with the weather today. I'm just really happy with how chill she's acting. I think she's a really cute mover with her size and her build. I'm not quite sure how tall she is. I'm gonna guess like 13, two, maybe 13, three. Uh, definitely 14, not over 14 hands, but she has a lot of body, so I'm really excited to feel what she's like under saddle when we get to that point. Which, by the way, I'll probably be posting that video towards the end of the month. I want to do a lot of groundwork with them, really make sure that we know each other, that we've built that relationship before just getting on them. So it's going to be different kind of groundwork activities, though. And like one time is going to be jumping, it's going to be ground pulls, all kinds of different things. We're going to keep it fun and exciting until we get to our under saddle work. So right now I'm just having her do a bunch of transitions, trot to canter, canter to trot, switching directions. Her canter looks fun and she seems to have a really good work ethic. She seems very willing and her the groundwork with her is just really fun. I feel like she just needs to get back into shape, but overall she's a really good girl when I ask her to walk, she slows down, she doesn't get fast. So that's a really good sign. Yeah, that was a nice direction change. She's such a good girl. So we're just gonna work on some directional changes for a little bit at the walk, just to make sure she's responding to the pressure. She just seems like she's going to be that safe, all-around, willing type, which is really exciting if that's what she ends up being. But also, I don't feel like she's a deadhead. I feel like she will have the ability to pick up and go when you ask her. But at the same time, I think she's going to kind of be more of a reliable type. We'll see. Overall, really happy with how she was acting in this session. Super sweet.
And again, I'm just doing the walking, stopping, backing up. I think this helps horses that kind of get ahead of you a little bit. Not that she's doing it severely or anything, but I have expectations and I want to address them right away in a, in a nice manner. Okay, now I'm gonna walk her over to the hitching post, tie her, and we're gonna do our grooming session. I love how she's looking at me while I'm setting up the camera. She's so sweet. This is my husband, Kyle. He's just hanging out with us while we do our grooming. Yeah, Cruella, again, she's just so sweet. I just loved her energy when I met her at the sale. She was just so in your pocket and so sweet and affectionate yet like she's so kind but she also has a sassiness to her in a, in a positive way not negative where i think that's going to come into play when it comes to the different disciplines we do we do a lot of trail riding we do some jumping we do some open shows some equestrian team we do a bunch of different things so it's really fun when they kind of have you know, the reliable, safe aspect, but also a little bit of athleticism to them as well. So we'll see. Okay, and that was day one with Cruella. Okay, next up we have Mr. Mustache, Duke of Wesselton. So again, I'm just gonna start walking him around. He's super calm. Like he seems really chill and like whatever. So that's really good. I'm gonna start with the hyoid release just to get him his jaw mobilized and kind of work that out first. And look, he stepped away so nicely that time. Both sides. That is a huge change. It's the most simple thing in the entire world, but think of how he was in the first session, which by the way is in the link in the description below. Like he literally would kind of freak out when you would like step to the side and put any pressure on his shoulder. And this time both ways, he was just like, oh yeah, okay, whatever. So the fact that he already progressed in that and is more comfortable is absolutely huge to me. It's the little things, guys. He's also being really light and responsive, and I feel like he's tuning into me a lot more than he was previously, and he just licked and chewed, which is a sign of relaxation. Really impressed with him today. And he's kind of standing square there. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna ask him to back up a couple steps. He's a little sticky here, so it's something we'll definitely be working on to get a light response. Also, if you guys are enjoying this and learning something, if you would hit that like button, we'd really appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna ask him to move into the trot. So much different than last time. Like, I just can't even believe it. Like, look how like loose my hand and rope is. Look how slow he's trotting. This is what it's all about for me. Like, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I'm just so excited that there's such a change this time. And it could be so many things. It could be, okay, he understands my expectations a little better. We've bonded a little bit more, just a different day, all kinds of different things. But look at him, he's so sweet. Plus I think he's so cute, like look at his color. It's like red roan varnish, by the way. So because he's doing so well, I'm just gonna keep it really simple and just do some walk trot, some halts, some backing, and just kind of let it take its course naturally. That's my plan for today with him. He's doing really well responding to me, coming into me. And I'm just gonna keep working on getting him to move away from the pressure because obviously the first session that was somewhat of an issue, but today he's doing really well. And it could be also me that now that I know you know, the energy that I need to have with him. Like he got a little stuck there, but even when I kind of went towards him, I made sure to correct myself and to be a lot softer. And he responded way better to that, even when he got a little stuck. So I think that's part of it too. I have a better understanding of him. He's doing a lot of licking and chewing today too. He's done it quite a few times already. So really like that, very good sign. I also think he's like a super cute little mover, especially for his size and stockiness. 
He's also doing really well with the transitions. Like when I ask him to walk, he's staying in the walk. He's not rushing, really responsive. Again, I'm just so over the moon happy with the session and the difference and the changes. Okay, so now we're gonna work more on directional changes because I wanna make sure that we really grasp that. So far, so good. He's listening really well. And he's being really responsive to the pressure and not getting worked up or nervous about it. Really awesome. With him, I just feel like he's my little buddy. He just gives off these super sweet vibes. And again, like he's getting a lot more affectionate. Like you can tell he likes the attention. At first he was kind of like, eh, yeah, stay away from me. And now he's kind of like, oh yeah, like, no, I kind of like that. So that's really cute. Okay, Kyle's hanging out with him for a second. And then we're gonna do his grooming session and just spend some time with him. But yeah, I just adore him. I think he's just the cutest little unique pony with the blonde mustache and the fun colors and cute personality. So he's, he's gonna be a, a blast. So yeah, today was considered day one of Pony Boot Camp, technically second session, but we're just doing day one, two, three, so on and so forth. So if you guys are gonna wanna watch the sessions with them, the boot camp, if you could hit that subscribe button, you'll be able to follow and see the progress that we make. I'm so excited, I'm pumped. I'm really looking forward to their first rides, which will be more towards the end of October when I do that and post the videos, but yeah such a fun experience. I'm so grateful that I even have the opportunity to do this. So yeah, and I'm really glad that you guys are tuning in. The channel's new and I really just wanna bring awareness about horses, just everything in general and auctions and the pros and cons that come with it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well and that you wanna learn more and get to know these ponies a little bit better. So I'm going to be trying to post their pony boot camp sessions daily to every other day. I don't want to, you know, skimp out on the quality of the videos versus quantity. So I want to make sure that, you know, I put in a lot of time with the editing and that you guys, you know, get an understanding of what I'm doing during my sessions. But I'm going to try to get them out as frequently as possible so you guys can see every step of the way. Really excited. All right, well, that was Wessel's session. So thanks for tuning in, horse lovers. See you next time.